the pictures you've been seeing in front of your screens there are what we refer to as before and after. Farah Khalik, growing up normal, for lack of a better word, in a middle-class family here in Nairobi with her three brothers and her family. Normal, until she turned 17. She graduated high school, got a job, and then a few months later, her skin, her body started tightening. She didn't know what was going on. Pigmentation started failing. Her arms got all stiff. They went to India for checkup, and they were told it was something called scl scl scleroderma. Scleroderma, a kind of arthritis. And the body, instead of protecting itself, is fighting itself. Farah doesn't know too many people who have this disease. In fact, she knows nobody here in Kenya right now. As she was told by doctors, there is no known cure. Good evening. I'm Jeff Kainenge, and this is Jeff Kainenge live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski on this Inspiration Thursday. You saw Farah's pictures there. Later on, we'll show you another young lady overcoming insurmountable odds at the age of 19. Not only has she been a victim of terrorism, she won a Nobel. And she's going around the world talking about girls' education. Malala Yousafzai will be up later on. But for now, sit back and listen to a story because you may know someone who knows someone who has this disease, this condition called scleroderma. Farah is now 29 years old, still lives at home, still harbors ambitions of being a journalist, maybe even a talk show host somewhere. Let's listen to her story on this Inspiration Thursday. By the way, those of you who are expecting Makao Mutua to be on the show tonight, well, he couldn't make it. He's probably still on his way to Nairobi from the U.S. And that's why we have this opportunity to continue Inspiration Thursday. Farah, I don't know if I can shake your hand. It's so stiff, but... Uh, we surely can. You can, right? Yes. Good to see you. Good to What's see you. What's your Twitter handle again? Glam by Farah K. At Glam by... Farah. At Glam by Farah K. Yes. At Glam by Farah K. Yes. Mine is at Kuinanga Jeff. Let's use the hashtag overcoming odds. And I shake your hand and, and look, Stano, if you just zoom into this hand, it's, it's, you have, they're stiffened up. Yes. Do you have use of, of your hands? Of course I do. I do use my hands. Restricted movement, but I try. Each day is a struggle, but I move on. Does it hurt? In the cold, yes. You feel the pain? Yes. Okay, take me back. Mm -hmm. So you just turned 17. Yes. You finish high school, you have a job. Yes. Then what happens? Then suddenly symptoms start occurring. I used to wake up in the morning and my hands used to swell up. My fingers used to turn blue. My legs, especially my thighs, they were very stiff. And then slowly, gradually, as the day goes on, everything used to ease up. So this started, you know, and then we went for checkups locally and I was, first I was diagnosed with the lupus. With lupus, uh -huh. Yes. But, and then I was given steroids. I didn't want to have the steroids, you know. They were giving you refused? Me, yes, they were giving me side effects. I was eating too much. <laughs> I was growing fat. <laughs> I didn't want them. So, um, slowly my dad, my mom, they heard that uh, India could be a better option. So, we traveled to India, packed our bags, off to India, at Hinduja Hospital. Got our tests done again, and there I was diagnosed with scleroderma. Scleroderma. Yes. This skin arthritis yes. thing. This thing. <laughs> which has no known cure. Sure. So what did they tell you? Go back home and... They told me that it's, this is obviously for your life now. There's no cure. And uh, you are... We're going to just uh, prescribe some medicines which are going to make your life easier. Meaning like they're going to try and control this. Basically back to steroids. And this, yeah. Those same steroids? Yes. Did and you it, take them then? Uh, for about eight months. Yeah. Did you grow fat? Mm, yes, I did. I did. I, and then 
the, the pigmentation started you know slowly slowly losing it hmm. yeah so this whiteness started first on my arms slowly slowly it's like you know all over now on my face yeah but your legs are still dark yes my legs are all dark they're okay yeah they're all okay but the rest of your body is my only my arms and my face yes so for the last 13 years, right? Yes. 13, 13 years, years. You've been living like this. I've been living like this. Hoping what? That a cure will be found one day or, or what, Farah? I've been living my life the way I'm supposed to. I guess there came a time I accepted this and I thought, okay, it's done. Get up and move on. Every day? Yes. You know, I don't understand. I mean, maybe it's me, but you know, you have an attitude I've never seen in too many people. Look at you smiling. You're, you're I'm always smiling. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, you are your mother's only daughter. Yes. With three older brothers. Yes. And the daughter ends up like this. Mm -hmm. she's, she's a strong woman and I get my courage from her. I know seeing your child like this every single day, both my parents, they're very strong, very strong. Do you have a history of this, Farah, uh, in your there family? There's an arthritis history in the family. Arthritis? Yes, from my mom's side. But this came out of the blue? This is out of the blue. I mean, because it has changed my face a lot. My skin has all tightened up, yeah. my muscles, yeah. they're all tightened up. So I basically don't have cheeks. I don't have lips. As you can see, my teeth have protruded out. They were not like this. So my physical appearance has really changed. And that's what scared everyone. Wow. I mean, when you go out, you... Yes, of course. Well, what's the reaction? Stares. You get a lot of stares. But I'm used to it now. I'm used to it. Children get scared sometimes. Do they? Yes, they do. They do. laugh at you? No, they don't laugh at me. They just stare, you know. Poor kids. They get scared. But I try to, you know, engage with them. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you get that attitude? Where did you get that positive attitude? My parents. My mom and dad. Yeah. I saw your brothers. I saw them all here. They're very supportive. They, they are. You know, they're encouraging you. Yes. Are they like this all the time? Always. I'm the bully. I'm the youngest one. So I'm the bully. <laughs> Yeah, my parents are very yeah. strong. The hashtag again, uh, folks, if you're just joining us right now, it's overcoming odds. And Farah's uh, Twitter handle is at uh, Glam by Farah K. Did I get that? Yes. At Glam by Farah K. Mine is at Anger Jeff. Hashtag overcoming odds. This is what we mean when we talk about overcoming odds. This young lady, 29 years old, anyone else would have just been hidden in a store somewhere and forgotten about but you're determined yes I am I'm determined because I feel there's a reason for everything my faith is strong and my belief is strong there's a reason for everything and he's not so cruel there is a cure out there you reckon yes there is most definitely do you, do you wanna inshallah inshallah as they say right yeah do, I mean, look, for, for lack of a better phrase, do, do you want to live a normal life again at some point? I mean, have a family, children. Do you ever think of that? Or do you yes. think, you know what, I might wake up dead one of these days? <laughs> yes, I do. I do want to live a normal life. Of course I want to live a normal life. Most of my cousins are married, they have children. My friends from high school, everyone's living their life. Mm. But... Maybe this is what is written for me. I can't fight that, can I? I cannot. But I can continue to show resilience and show him that he has to cure me yeah. so that I can live my life. Yeah. So Okay, so do you work now? People probably, what do you do when you I, wake up in the morning? I blog from home. You have a blog? Yes. It's called Glam, Glam by, by Farah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's a lifestyle blog. Can you type? Yes, I can. You can type? I can type, I can write. And I want to write a book one day, maybe. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mornings are normally from 9 to 12. I'm working on my laptop. I'm on social media. I'm researching. 
I'm typing stuff for my blog. Sometimes I'm taking pictures. My mom is so used to, to me taking pictures around the house. She just knows. What you blog about? Lifestyle. Sometimes fashion. Some weeks I do inspiration. Sometimes I talk about myself. Yeah. What would you say about yourself, Farah? Basically, just how important it is to just normal stuff, you know, like how to write a journal, how to do this, how to do that. I try to encourage people to take up hobbies, maybe, yeah. And when you, obviously, you must read other people's blogs, Farah. You must read a lot of stuff that's out there on the net. And there's a lot of hate on the net. There is. When you there see is. that, as compared to what you do, what there is you mind? so much hate out there and I just wish people could try and, you know, spread love. Why can't we be more positive? Why do we need negative energies? We need positive energies. And maybe my positive energy will reach someone that might be crying somewhere, you know? Maybe someone could smile because of me. Yeah. Did you ever think of giving up? No. It's never crossed your mind? No. My mom has never. And never have I. Never. I told you she's a strong woman and I get it from her. My late grandma was also a very strong woman. And um, before she passed on, I had already started the symptoms. So she's also like basically struggled with me. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're tough women. No doubt. Yes. I first met you at Diamond Plaza, remember? Yeah. About six, eight weeks ago. Yeah. And you, I mean, you came up to me with, with that big smile on your face. Yes. And I said, I to couldn't believe myself. I was like, oh my God, is this happening to me? <laughs> I couldn't believe myself. I mean, but the boldness with which you came up to me and said, can we have a picture? I mean, yes. my mom was like, don't, what are you doing? I'm like, no, we do it. No, hold on, just hold on, <laughs> you know. And she was like, seriously? <laughs> you know, we sat in the car for two seconds, looked at the picture, and we both smiled. <laughs> it was an amazing moment. No, look, you have a great spirit. I mean, I, I, I haven't Thank seen you. that. I Thank haven't you. seen that too much out there. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a very long journey. I can imagine. I mean, look, a dozen years, 13 years. Yeah. But do you still think, you know, you're, you're knocking on 30 now? Yes. Right? Do you think there'll be a cure or do you think you'll be able to get to school? Because you just told me earlier on, you applied for a scholarship already. Yes, you I do. You applied for a scholarship? Yes, you I do. You want to go to school? Yes, I do. I do. I applied for a scholarship and I'm eagerly awaiting the reply. And I'm positive that I'll get in. Would you be able to commute every day to this university? And, and will you be able to ha handle the course load? I can. Jeff, with motivation and self-belief, confidence in myself, yes. Yes. Anything is possible, Jeff. Yeah. Anything is. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, you, yeah, you, you've redefined the whole thing. Look, we're going to take a break, come back, talk a little bit more. Sure. What was it like growing up back then? Oh, fun. <laughs> so many games, kati and football with my brothers and yeah. marbles. And marbles. Yes. <laughs> it was fun. I had a great childhood. Yeah. No complaints. When you pray to your God, do you ask, why me? Initially, I used to, I was very angry, I was very bitter. I wasn't like this. Yeah. I was very bitter. I used to cry myself to sleep. And you know, just, but my mom, she was always like, don't worry, this, it will go, it will go, it will go. Wow. Strong spirit. Keep yeah. tweeting at... Gram by, by Farah K <laughs> at Koinanga Jeff. The hashtag overcoming odds. 29 year old Farah Khalik. Look at this face. Look at this innocence. Look at the spirit. Look at the fighting, fighting spirit. She's no doubt overcoming insurmountable odds, suffering from something called scleroderma. 
it's an arthritis that just debilitates the joints. Very painful at times, especially on these cold nights. Keep tweeting. Jeff Kanenge live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski takes a break. We'll be back.